Hello, my name is Hazel Kirkland. I'm part of the South location and it's good to be with you this morning and share a memorable verse for me. And the verse I've chosen is Psalm 118 verse 24. And uh, before I read it out, perhaps you want to look it up. But um, the reason I chose this is this has become um, a great habit in my life, this particular verse. And while there's many verses, um, as I'm sure many of you will say, that there are lots of verses that are um, become really important to us throughout our lives. Um, this particular verse is great because being a habit, it's how I start my day and I feel like it declares and over my day and sets the tone for my day. So as I said, it's Psalm 11824 and it is, this is the day the Lord has made and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Um, I think I want to break it down a little bit, even though it's only a small verse. Um, but when you start with this is the day the Lord has made and just pause for a moment and think about that. Um, it's incredibly powerful. This is the day that the God of all creation has created for us, for you, for me. There's no um, randomness about this day or just a crazy day picked out of um, nowhere. This is a day that he has created, the day he has made. And um, that's quite an incredible thing. It takes quite a lot of pressure off. I, I feel like um, he's got a plan for the day. And um, in keeping with my good habits, <laughs> I feel like when I start the day this way, that whatever the day holds in front of me, I know that he's planned it. And also his word says in 2 Peter 1 that his divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life. So not only has he prepared a day for us and given us the opportunity to partner with him in it, but he's given everything we need to live a godly life in this day. So that in itself is great. And you just think, well, I could just almost sit back and let the day happen. But the second part of Psalm 11824 is, I will rejoice and be glad in it. Now, I don't know about you, but, you know, it's not necessarily every morning that you wake up and you go, yay, this is a great day and I feel wonderful. Um, and it all feels Disney. It's not like that. Some days you wake up and you don't feel like that. However, I think, and I certainly have experienced this over the years, and it's probably about 30 years that I've begin, been speaking this over my life and I can't promise you it's been every day but definitely it's been a very much a part of my um, the start of my day and my prayer life um, but when I speak this over my life I definitely feel that God lifts me up and um, however I'm feeling and if I am not feeling great then I sort of work out why and I speak that into this verse so I might say this is the day the Lord has made and I will be at peace and rejoice and be glad in it, um, you know, or I will um, be forgiving and um, rejoice and be glad in it, or I will be trusting in you, Father God, and rejoice and be glad in it. So I, I always, I'm honest with God, um, and I just feel that that um, allows me still to take part and partner with God in this day. So it's very much for us. And, um, and it, it gives us such a peace uh, um, that we can trust in him to organise our day. Also, it's not just for us. I believe it's for others because, you know, in Isaiah, which is another incredibly favourite verse of mine. Um, and I know we're only meant to do one, but I just slipped another one in. Um, How lovely on the mountain are the feet of those who bring good news. I just love that the feet of those who bring good news, beautiful feet bringing good news. And I think when you partner with God in the day, there is that opportunity to um, speak into someone's life, to encourage them, to bring peace, to bring joy. And hopefully, if you get the opportunity to be able to share the gospel. So, you know, those two things together. Um, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice take part in and be glad in it and I just I just think um, we have such an opportunity when we let God take the beginning of our day and we speak it over our day and declare it over our day so that is my verse and uh, why I love it and um, I just like to pray right now um, for you in this day 
So Father God, I thank you for this day. Thank you. This is the day you've made and we can, as a church, rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you, Father God, that you've gone before us, that you're, um, you've written um, this day in a book. Father God, that you've ordained our days and it's in a book, Father God. Psalm 3 1 speaks of that over our lives. And Lord, I just pray that each one of us would choose to partner with you in this day and that we can rejoice and be glad when we look at the day and we can see how you have worked your way in our lives. So, Lord, I just declare that over everyone today. And I just pray, Father God, for your blessing, for your love, for your peace, and for joy in our hearts in this day. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thanks so much for joining me this morning um, or this afternoon or the evening whenever you're watching and um, I look forward to hearing if this has been encouragement for you too. Thanks. Have a great day. <laughs>